imagine drinking something that dries out saliva, weakens your teeth, and even multiplies the risk of oral cancer. And that drink is nothing but alcohol. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Marihnaz, a dentist, and today we're talking about the effects of alcohol on your mouth and teeth. When people think about alcohol, they usually think about the liver or the digestive system. But the very first place alcohol touches is right here, your mouth, your gums, and your tongue. The first thing alcohol affects is saliva. Saliva plays a crucial role in oral health. It's not just water, it contains enzymes, protective proteins, acid neutralizing components, and even its own defense system. System. Alcohol reduces saliva, changes its composition, and leaves your mouth dry. When saliva drops, even the smallest amount of acid can attack your teeth. It doesn't matter how often you brush or floss. Without saliva, your mouth defense system is basically zero. Saliva is like a protective shield, and when that shield is removed, your teeth are completely unprotected. Most people have no idea how acidic alcoholic drinks actually are. The pH of many alcoholic beverages is even lower than soda. White wine has a pH of around 3 and red wine is slightly higher but still in the highly acidic range. Enamel begins to dissolve at a pH below 5.5. That means when you drink alcohol, it takes about 10 minutes for the acid to start softening your enamel. And if there is not enough saliva, that acid sticks to your teeth even longer. Now imagine someone saving alcohol over and over throughout the night. Their mouth stays acidic for hours. Over months and years, this leads to deep and extensive cavity. And the problem isn't just the acid. Many alcoholic drinks are mixed with soda or juice. That means you've got acid, sugar, and alcohol, the worst possible combination for your teeth. The cavities we see in the people who regularly consume alcohol aren't usually small surface ones. There are fast progressing cavities that often reach the nerve because the tooth has lost its natural protection. Something I see a lot in patients is drinking alcohol before bed. Naturally, saliva production drops during sleep and alcohol makes it even worse. That means your mouth stays dry and acidic for 7 to 8 hours straight. This is the longest period your teeth are exposed to acid without a break. That's why the people who drink alcohol at night or have said alcoholic drinks before bed usually wake up with much more severe decay. Damage to the teeth is only one part of the story. Alcohol also affects the gums in ways most people don't know about. Alcohol worsens gum inflammation, causes bad breath, and increases the risk of cavities. Many people think bad breath after drinking is just the smell of alcohol. But the truth is, it's a mix of tongue dryness and bacterial overgrowth. Alcohol doesn't just affect the soft tissues directly, it also slows down the healing of oral wounds. When the mouth is exposed to alcohol, the tissue cells get damaged and repair more slowly. This is especially important for people who drink after dental surgery or tooth extraction because alcohol significantly increases the risk of infection and delays healing. Another thing really talked about is alcohol effect on the jawbone. Bone is a living tissue constantly breaking down and rebuilding. But alcohol disrupts the cycle. It decreases the activity of bone building cells and increases the activity of bone destroying cells. The balance shifts and the result is bone loss. So if someone who regularly drinks alcohol wants an implant, they need to know their success rate is lower than the others. One of the most serious and dangerous effects of alcohol is its role in oral cancer. Alcohol dries out and weakens the mouth lining. More importantly, when alcohol and cigarettes are used together, the risk of oral cancer increases 4 to 10 times. And about teeth staining, drinks like red wine are major culprits. Red wine contains tannin pigments that stick to the enamel and darken the teeth. And when enamel is already softened by alcohol's acidity, staining happens faster and becomes much more intense. A common question is, does alcohol interact with dental medication? Yes, alcohol is absolutely not safe to mix with some dental meds, and combining them can be dangerous. First of all, metronidazole, one of the most commonly prescribed antibiotics for dental and gum infection. Mixing metronidazole with alcohol triggers a severe reaction. Even a small amount of alcohol can cause intense vomiting and heart palpitation. That's why anyone taking metronidazole must avoid alcohol for the entire course and even up to 72 hours after the lab. 
last dose. A lot of people also take painkillers for toothaches, but drinking alcohol with painkillers like ibuprofen significantly increase the risk of stomach bleeding and gastrointestinal damage. Other medications like amoxicillin aren't safe with alcohol either. Alcohol weakens the immune system and slows healing, so the medication becomes less effective. This means the infection may last longer and be harder to treat. So the safest choice when you are on any dental medication is to avoid alcohol entirely until the treatment is fully completed. Now you might ask if someone drinks alcohol, is there any way to reduce the damage? Yes, of course, there are several simple and effective steps. First, drink water after consuming alcohol. This helps improve the pH and rinse out the acids. Second, never brush your teeth immediately after drinking alcohol. The enamel is softened at that moment and brushing can cause more abrasion. Wait at least 30 minutes. Third, use sugar-free gum after work to simulate saliva flow. Fourth, do not mix alcohol with soda or soy juice. Fifth, rinse your mouth with water before going to bed. In the end, alcohol is something people rarely associate with oral damage, but now you know how much it can affect your teeth and your gums. We often think damage happens suddenly, but the truth is most of these problems build up slowly, over time, quietly, gradually, and at the moment we least expect it. If alcohol is a part of your lifestyle, at least do not let your mouth and teeth be the first victims. Oral health isn't something you can replace. And if you're watching this video today, take even one small step, one extra glass of water or even one smarter decision. Know that these tiny steps are exactly what will protect you years from now. And remember, the mouth isn't just a part of your body, it's the mirror of your body. The more we respect it, the more we respect our overall health.